In surveillance video, you'll only see here tonight on ABC4, a homeless man is fighting for his life after being hit by a pickup truck. Now, this happened near 3400 South, 300 West in South Salt Lake around 1020 last night. ABC4's Rosie Nguyen talked to a city council member about what should be done in the next year to improve pedestrian safety. It's going to happen with the shelter now open. There is going to be an increase in foot traffic. Pedestrian safety is a topic close to heart for South Salt Lake City Council member Corey Thomas. Every time I hear someone getting injured or, you know, killed in a crosswalk or as a pedestrian, it devastates me. Thomas says Wednesday night's incident was a sobering reminder about the importance of her cause. Exclusive surveillance video obtained by ABC4 News shows a 43-year-old homeless man going down 300 West in his wheelchair near 3330 South when he was hit by a pickup truck. Police say he was not in a crosswalk. And from my other camera view, you can see how far he actually slid the wheelchair and the, and the guy. He flew clear up past our mailboxes on the other side of the entrance to the Walton Park here. This is the second critical auto pedestrian accident that took place in this area involving a homeless person. Nearly two months after the Men's Resource Center opened here in South Salt Lake. Just one month ago, another homeless man was hit and killed by a car near 3300 South 900 West. Both incidents happened within a mile and a half of the shelter. We run this problem with people crossing in mid-block, in the middle of the block, and, and uh, with that, people, drivers don't expect somebody to, to come out into traffic at those locations. After successfully advocating for crosswalk upgrades at 3000 South and State, she's now working on getting one installed near the shelter. It gets dark really early in the winter. I don't think people realize there are individuals out walking around because it's so cold. Reporting in South Salt Lake, Rosie Nguyen, ABC4 News. Thank you, Rosie. Well, police have not released the identity of the man who was hit, but say he is still in critical condition this evening. They say the driver is cooperating with the investigation and was not impaired at the time of the crash.